Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a highly requested video on my channel and this is all about my highlighting and contouring route. Now there's been a lot of different videos going around YouTube and social media about different ways to contour and honestly, there are a thousand different ways to contour. I mean, it's something that you take the basic techniques and you just make it all of your own. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just whatever works for you. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be showing you how I highlight and contour my face, some of my favorite products to use, my basic techniques that I feel like work for me. And, you know, you can definitely take them and, you know, tweak them and just make them your own because makeup is all about, you know, experimenting with different things to see what works. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. So before I talk about products, I want to explain what highlighting and contouring is because I know it's something that we hear about a lot, but I don't feel like everybody really knows what it's supposed to do. What I like to do, I definitely like to contour my cheeks because I have pretty big full cheekbones and I just feel like it helps to define them not necessarily hide them but it just helps to define them a little bit more so to me contouring um you basically are bringing definition to your face and then highlighting you're actually manipulating light you're bringing light to different areas of your face that's how I like to look at it so I want to talk about the tools that I like to use and then we'll go into the demo. So as far as the actual tools that I like to use, I only have two brushes that I like to contour with. And the first one is by Kat Von D. It is this one here. It is the Shade of Light brush that came, it didn't come in the um, Shade of Light palette, but it was launched the same time that the Shade of Light palette was launched. And it has two sides. It has a um, kind of tapered highlighter brush. And these brushes are dirty because I just use them <laughs> to do my face. But yeah, um, and this is the angled kind of contour side. So this is the contour brush and this is the highlighting brush. I am in love with this brush. I feel like it just applies the product so evenly. It just makes everything just look so nice and smooth and I just love it. And the other brush that I have been loving for contouring is this one by Sonia Kashuk. This is just the flat contour brush and it just has a flat head. It's very, very soft. It just distributes the product evenly. It gets it on the skin, but it doesn't like go everywhere and it's not very hard to blend out. I feel like this contour brush is better for blending and this one is better for actually applying the product. So as you'll see in the demo, you'll probably see what I mean when I actually show you the tutorial, but these two together are amazing. Okay, ladies, let's go ahead and get into the demo. So as you can see, I have done my brows, I've done my eyeshadow, and all I have on my skin so far is just foundation. I use this foundation by NARS. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I am in the shade Medium for Barcelona. So that's all I've done with my face. So now we're gonna get into the highlight and contouring. So you can either use a pro product that already has all the work done for you, which I prefer because the shades are already matched up um, and you know that it's going to blend well together. One of my favorite pro products to use is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is available at Sephora and I'm pretty sure Ulta has it as well. This is what this looks like. This is the dark shade. They have a dark shade and a light shade. The light shade will be more for lighter skin tones and the dark shade is more for darker skin tones. Honestly, to me, the only difference between these two is just the highlighter. Going to the color wheel. Pink highlighters are more flattering on lighter skin tones and gold highlighters such as this one are more flattering on darker skin tones. Honestly, it's whatever your preference is. You see how light I am and 
I think that golden highlighters look better on me than the pinky ones do so it's just whatever your preference is but this is the one that I'm gonna be using today if you don't want to use a contouring product you can definitely build your own just using whatever bronzer you have and whatever highlight you have a drugstore version that is definitely equivalent to this is the hard candy contouring trio and this is in three times a charm and this is what the inside looks like so here you have your bronzer shade and then here you have your blush shade and here you have your highlighter shade so it's already together for you or you could just pick whatever bronzer you like and or, um highlighter you like another really affordable bronzer that i like is this one by pop beauty and this is the sun kiss bronzer in secret sunshine so it looks like that i like this shade because it has a little bit of shimmer in it but not like anything crazy you could use it on pretty much all skin tones so i really really like this one so it's whatever your preference is these are just a few of my favorite products to use so the first thing that i do is i take my makeup forever pro sculpting duo and i take my kat von d brush i take the contour side and i get a little bit of bronzer on here and what you want to do is you want to actually find your contour line and so some people say use the top of your ear but as you can see if you if I use the top of my ear it'll have my contour line way up here and actually how I like to find the contour line is I set my cheeks in and right there wherever your cheek gets really hollow that's how I like to find um, the contour line I think it looks much more natural that way so I just dust off the excess suck my cheek in and then I just kind of do a couple of soft lines with my brush like that and do the same thing to the cheek on the other side And as you can see, all contouring does is just kind of define the areas of the face that, you know, you kind of want to define. And so depending on your face shape, any face shape, you're going to want to highlight your forehead. You're going to want to contour your nose. Um, some people like to go down here and contour. I feel like if you have a double chin that just kind of emphasizes that so I don't particularly do that when I contour but I do like to come up and just all the way up where the hairline is I like to go up there and apply some bronzer there and then I like to kind of just do a line right here on the side of my temples and that's all that I do and then I'm just gonna go in and I'm just going to blend out the contour that we just applied now if you want to highlight the bottom parts of your face the technique that I like to use is the backwards E where basically you just get a bit more of your bronzer you do a line here a line here and a line here so it kind of looks like a cursive E or really a, cur a number three you could think of it that way so you could just go here here and here and just make sure that you blend everything in and that's just going to emphasize all the contour lines in your face So as you can see, I mean, I don't feel like it makes a huge difference down here, but I can definitely see how it's bringing out my cheekbones. So I go and do that. If you want a deeper contour, this is pretty much what I would do for every day. But if you want like a deeper contour, I like to go in with a slightly darker bronzer. So I would like my pop bronzer or, you know, you could use a bronzer that's a couple shades darker than your skin tone or you could use concealer. And I go in with my Sonia Kashuk flat brush just get a little bit of product on there 
and you can see it's a lot darker than my skin tone and just kind of do one line like so then go back in with the same brush and just blend blending is definitely the key to contouring because you're drawing lines on your face essentially and you don't want to walk around with a, a bunch of harsh lines in your face so you just want to make sure that you blend 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 it is going to take a while to get everything you know really blended in but you definitely want to take your time blending everything out because the end result is just going to look so much better. So as you can see, that's the final product um, as far as the face contouring goes. Then I take the same bronzer, Pop Beauty, go back in with a flat contour brush and I just get a little bit, kind of do the bottom of my nose do the sides then I go back with my Kat Von D brush and I basically just blend this you can also use a um, makeup sponge a beauty blender if you have that or you know whatever you have to blend it but you just want to make sure that these lines are blended you could even use your finger if you want to honestly And that's the contouring. As you can see, it really brings out the shape of your nose. And if your nose is wider, it'll just, you know, bring out the shape to it and it'll just make it, to me, I feel like it just makes it look more defined and it, it makes it look better to me. Now we're gonna go into highlighting. There's so many different ways to highlight. Um, some people go and they do the concealer and they um, can, you know use a concealer and highlight all over their face I do that sometimes sometimes I just go in with a highlighting powder because I don't feel like it makes a huge difference for me um, being so light if you're darker it'll definitely look better if you get like a really you know a concealer that's a couple shades lighter than your skin tone and you know highlight with that and then you won't even have to really use a powder over it but for this tutorial I want to use a powder and so the places on your face where you highlight how I tell people to do it is to look at your face as a heart shape and these are the places on your face where you would want to highlight so you definitely want to highlight here down your nose underneath your eyes um, basically down the center of your face because you the places that you want to bring light to that's basically what you're doing you're highlighting so here here in your cupid's bow here on your chin and then the tops of your cheekbones sometimes i like to go right underneath my contour line and pretty much um highlight there it's just whatever you want to do for this tutorial, I'm going to go back to my Makeup for Ebbs Duo and I'm going to use the Goldie highlight in there. Like I said earlier, you can pretty much use whatever highlight you want. So I'm going to go and just get a little bit of this highlight shade on the highlight part of the brush. And I'm just going to go down the center of my nose with it. Keep its bow. Chin, tops of my cheekbones, go right where that contour line is and that'll help bring out your cheeks as well. And that's basically all that you do. You can go back and you can add, you know, however much you want depending on you know how pigmented the highlight is as you can see there's light coming to different areas of my face and I just feel like it just makes your makeup stand out that much more if you wanted to add more to it or you know you could pretty much do whatever with that and that's basically all I do on an everyday basis and then I'll just go in and I'll just add my blush on top of that and then we're pretty much good to go. So the blush I'm going to be using today is by Milani. This is the Rose Diaro blush. So I'm just going to apply that with a Sonia Kushuk powder brush and just kind of in between your highlight line and then your contour line. You just kind of go in and 
Do your blush. And there you go. That is the completed look. Simple, easy, you know, you can definitely take some of these tips and you can kind of add to it how you see fit. If you have oily skin, I would definitely want to stay away from the places in your face where you know you're going to get oily. Definitely like up here, I would not recommend highlighting um, in between here because that's like one of the first places where you get shine. I usually don't have an issue with when I highlight down like my nose and the tops of my cheekbones because those are places where I get oily I don't feel like the highlighter makes it look more oily I just usually black during the day and I'm good but if I highlight here I'm guaranteed to get shine so I try to stay away from that area you make sure you set your face some type of makeup spray if you are more dry you want to get a dewy makeup spray or if you're like me and you're more oily you definitely want a matte spray one of my favorite finishing sprays is this one by NYX this is the NYX matte finish um, setting spray so we're just gonna spray our face with that and we are good to go